So today we return to the wilds of uh, TikTok to check in on their dating advice. There are apparently a bunch of TikTokers who have deemed themselves worthy and qualified to dispense dating and relationship advice to the uh, hapless people who use that app. Now, I think you already know how I feel about this. I've, I've made it clear before. I've already specified that if you want to give relationship advice, you're not qualified to do that unless you, you have to be married at a minimum. And if you're married and you want to give marriage advice to other married people, then you have to have a good number of years and a few kids on your resume also. But if you aren't married at all, then you haven't beaten the dating game yet, right? You haven't, you haven't, you haven't completed it. You haven't cracked the code. So why would anyone listen to you? It's like if you're giving advice on how to climb a mountain, but you can barely make it up a flight of steps without getting winded or breaking your ankle or something. It's like, why would I go to you for advice on this? Now, I'm guessing that most, if not all, of the advice on TikTok is from people who do not pass this test, but uh, we'll check it out anyway, and let's start with this. So you're talking to a new guy, and he asks you, so what is it that you look for in a guy? Like, what kind of qualities do you like in a man? Let me tell you why you should never answer that question up front. First of all, the only reason a guy's going to ask you that question is so that he can find the fastest way to get you hooked. Because if he knows what you want, he's just going to be that person. Even if that's not an accurate reflection of who he really is, he's going to put up that front because he knows that's what you want. So rather than give him a literal cheat sheet on how to manipulate you, I'm going to tell you how you're going to answer that question. You're going to tell him, how about you show me who you are and then I'll let you know if you're the kind of guy I'm looking for. That way he'll take you seriously because he knows you're not easily manipulated and you're gonna save yourself a lot of time because you're gonna know within a few weeks whether or not that man passes your vibe check. Stay woke. Okay, to begin with, uh, she's wearing way too much makeup. I felt like I was watching that scene. It was that scene in The Joker where he's putting the clown paint on. That, I felt like I was watching that scene. Only there's a lot better life advice to be found in The Joker than in that video. <laughs> Notice something about this girl and the tips she's giving. She is perfectly okay with the idea of dating a guy who will manipulate you. She just wants she wants you to stay one step ahead of the game and manipulate him instead. So this is a competition of people manipulating each other. It's kind of a zero-sum competitive sort of approach to the male-female relationship that has made it so that people like the girl in the video will probably be alone and unhappy forever because that's the way they approach male-female relationships. Listen, if you suspect that you're with a guy who you can't be honest with because he'll manipulate you with the information you give him about yourself, then just dump him. Head for the hills. Bye-bye. That's the ultimate red flag right there. If you have to worry about being manipulated, it's the wrong person. And if you think that every guy is going to manipulate you, then you yourself are not fit to be dating because of this This is the way that you're going into it. This is how you see men. The truth is that plenty of men out there would ask the question about what you're looking for in a man because they actually want to know and uh, because they want to know if they're the right fit for you. And they also want to know if you're the right fit for them. It's not less honesty up front. It's more. Tell her the truth. Get it all out on the table up front right away. You should be totally clear, both of you, about what you're looking for, what your values are, et cetera. That's, th that's what you should actually do. And you can take my advice, even though I wasn't putting on makeup as I gave it. Let's continue. If you want someone to like you more, there are some really specific psychological things you can do that can actually make a world of difference. As a relationship therapist, I've literally spent my career studying the art of attraction and human psychology, so I know that these things work. The first thing you're gonna do is take advantage of the reciprocal liking concept. When you see them in person, you are gonna act so genuinely excited. Oh my God, I'm so excited to see you and catch up on all the things we talked about last time. You're probably thinking, but Kimberly, like, shouldn't I be playing it cool? Like, shouldn't I be waiting for them to come and talk to me? And the answer is absolutely not. And you paint with all the colors of the wind. You're going to treat them like you have a very special connection. And this is because our brains are psychologically primed to like people more when we know that they like us and think we're a good person. This isn't even a flirty thing at all. This is literally that they feel safe and seen with you and they know that you see the absolute best in them. Next thing you're going to do in your conversation, you are going to point out something that is similar about both of you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we both have a sister. <laughs> Wow. The human brain does unconsciously choose people who we view as similar to us. Next thing, when people, especially men, see bearskin, they get aroused. 
I hate to admit it, but the sundress phenomenon is a real thing. There is a reason why guys like these so much. Your comfort is key when it comes to dressing in front of anybody, but if you want to play it psychologically, it will not hurt you to show a little bit of their skin. Finally, this is the kicker. If you are not in a relationship, you're going to make sure that you give other guys the time of day. This brings out a protective instinct in guys and is usually the exact moment they decide to lock it down. I mean, seriously, what is with the, the makeup thing? I don't understand. Why would you record a video while you're putting makeup on? Like, it would never occur to me to whip out my phone and take a selfie video while I'm getting ready in the morning and putting makeup on. I've never been brushing my teeth and said to myself, you know, oh, this would be great content. Anyway, this woman has spent her career, she spent her career studying the art of attraction, which means that she's been studying it for about 12 days because she looks to be about 19 years old. And she's telling us about what she's learned in her long career. And the super secret psychological insights she giving us, she's giving us are as follows, if I remember them. This, this again, she, had, she, went, she went to school for this. She studied it. She's an expert. She's giving advice. She's putting her makeup on. And this is what she tells us. People like it when you show interest in them. And they like it when you have things in common. And then the big one, the big secret, nobody could have known this without studying relationships in school first. You got to go to college, pay $100,000, spend four years studying it, read a bunch of books. And after that, then you will know that men like it when women have less clothing on. No way! That's, that's psychological. People don't know that. So men, did you know this? Heterosexual men are attracted to the female form. What? Knockers. That's $100,000 worth of education that tells you that. So that, that's, a, what did she call it? The sundress phenomenon. Yeah, that phenomenon you heard about where, where men like to see women in short skirts. It's true. Do you think mini skirts are in good taste? On you, I think they are. The rumors are all true, okay? Her counseling degree confirms it. All right, let's, uh, let's watch the next one. All right, I told you guys to stop giving such a big and you guys responded, you were like, cool, 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 but like, how do I do that? This is my best advice to you. Start thinking like the man that you are or talking to, okay? When you are able to do this and you are able to start visualizing the relationship for what he sees it as, the game is changed. And this is what I mean. When you go hook up with this man, stop thinking of it as a little date night, a little snuggle, that okay? He is seeing it as a hookup. So when you go hook up, you need to see it as sex and you're out. Your shift is over, baby. You're gone. Because that is what he sees it as, genuinely. If you are getting your ran on you, this is why. Because you're thinking of it in a perspective that he's not with. <laughs> Texting him every five seconds. Give it a rest. Play his game on him. Mind a little bit. Have fun. I love you. Let me give some advice inspired by that video. Um, and I, I give this advice to, to men. If you meet a woman who wears so much makeup, she looks like a department store mannequin, that's a red flag. And if she uses phrases like, F that shit, then that's the final red flag. No woman who's like ever uttered that phrase is marriage material. It's like, that's, a, that's right there. It's, it's over. Shut the door. Of course, though, in acting and speaking like a teenage boy, she's only following her own advice. She advises women that some men are only in it for sex. And um, I think we got but we gotta go back and check with the, with, the, uh, with the counselor, with the college degree first to verify that, I'm not sure. They get aroused. But the claim here is that there are some men who are just interested in the sex. And that's what she says. And, and you know, these men, they don't care about you personally and they, they don't want anything deeper out of, out of relationships or out of life probably. And her great tip is to adopt the same mentality. So stoop to the lowest common denominator. Give up on wanting something more, something better out of life and out of your relationships. As the man descends into selfishness, nihilism, emptiness, superficiality, descend with him. And then at the end, you'll both be equally alone and miserable. Success, I guess. We are all prostitutes in one sense or another.